actually let me actually start the recording because it hasn't started oh never mind it started started lisa's up yay lisa yay um how's everybody doing today good 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 um so adam put the put the, the nails to the gun on me and uh here i am yeah. really hard that i have to follow bingo but Regardless, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> um, what makes me happy? So, about me, this was just a, a cute little thing. I was, I was on a, I was on a boat, went to a port, went to a bar. Of course, you got to go to a bar, and they had these little <laughs> things that you could do. So, here's a little bit about me. Um. Born and raised in Miami. Um, went to University of Miami, so all about the U. Fun fact, maybe not such fun fact, but I actually got my degree as a programmer. Not a lot of people know that. Um, kind of silly, but right after college, I moved to New York. I lived in Syosset, uh, which is part of Long Island, for 30 years. I still live in Long Island, but I sold my house in October, um, which was a really big move when, you, when you've been in the same house for 30 years. So I don't have the luxury of um, showing you old pictures because most of them are boxed up and in New York. Um, and if you notice, I live half New York and half in Florida. Um, Usually at this time, I'm back in New York due to our crazy world. I'm still in Florida and grateful that I'm still in Florida. Um, so you can see down there at the bottom, I have officially become a snowbird. And uh, this is really only my second season doing it, but very happy that I was able to do it this year. Um, I've been at net, I've been at net at work, crazy as it sounds, last month was my 14 year anniversary. I can't believe it. Uh, started off as a consultant. Um, I run the Sage 100 practice solo. Most practices are run by two people. I run the, the Sage 100 practice by myself, proud of it. Um, and I also am the consulting manager for the Acumatica practice. So you can see that the person on the side who's juggling, I wear a lot of hats. Um, that's me. You do it so well. I do, don't I? Mm -hmm. um, Congrats on 14 years. <laughs> yeah, crazy. You know, it's it, it, it's very funny because Fear and I have a joke that when when I started, I probably was here for about two weeks, and she came up to me and she says, uh, you know, how's, uh, it, how's uh, it going? Uh, uh, what are you telling them? No, no, it's not bad. It's not bad. And, and she came up to me and she's like, how's it going? I'm like, it's kind of slow. I think that's the last time I said that. I, I, I haven't had that luxury. <laughs> <Thanks, laughs> so. But the scary part is when she saw me walking by the conference room when she was being interviewed and she was like, oh, dear God. <laughs> that I was working here. She was going to have to work with me again. Yeah, so, so, so Tom and I worked with each other. Uh, we were at American Express together. So I guess it, it, little, it is a little bit of an incestuous world. And um, we're, we, we came back to each other. So I don't know if that's good or bad or indifferent. <laughs> so, long story. Um, long story. Anyway, <laughs> probably the things that make me the happiest are my kids. Um, I got divorced when my kids were, were really young and the three of us really became a team. Um, I, I can't believe that when I first started that at work, my son was 11 and my daughter was 15, no, 14. Um, now they're 25 and 28. So I, I can't even, I, I can't, it's, it's one thing that I've been here for 14 years, but I can't believe that they're 28 and 25 now. Um, my kids make me crazy happy. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, I haven't seen them 
Um, I haven't seen my son in six months. I haven't seen my daughter in five months. She came down in January to visit. My son and his daughter were supposed to come down in March and ended up obviously not coming down. They didn't want to infect me. They didn't want to go to through the through the airport. Um, but yeah. So that's them, obviously. My daughter Lauren. Um, first of all, pro probably the funniest thing is she was she was part of, I guess, the very first summer intern at uh, at Net at Work. So that that's kind of cool. Um, she did go down. She went to University of Maryland for undergraduate. She graduated in three years, um, worked for a law firm for two years, saved up a little money, thank goodness, and then went to uh, University of North Carolina for law school. So go Tar Heels. Um, so you can see, you can't tell, but this picture at the top left corner, we, after she graduated law school, I asked her what she wanted. And she told me she wanted to go on a trip. Little did I know she actually wanted to go with me. So I thought that was very cool. And we took a cruise uh, in Europe and the, the Tivoli fountain is actually behind us. Um, just below her, she's in Israel. Of course, when you go to Israel, you got to take a picture with the camel. The, the middle picture, she is her graduation from law school. And that's just me and her up at the, at the top right. And then her as a baby. She's beautiful. Yeah, she thinks so too. Thank you. <laughs> um, so this is her. She is now a full-fledged lawyer. Uh, she works in the city at Kelly Dry, and she specializes in commercial litigation and class action lawsuits, and she likes doing a uh, criminal defense for pro bono. My son, I'm off on my slides. Uh, my son, Justin, he's, he's three years younger. Um, middle picture is him and his girlfriend. Looks like they're really serious and I think they're actually gonna get hitched one day. Um, I guess you could see Lisa changing a little bit from the bottom left corner. I think he was there. Uh, I think he was like 18 months there. Um, and I think next to that, it was him and his prom. Uh, top right was him in graduation. I did notice since all my pictures are in boxes and as everyone's showing pictures and of, of themselves and all these old pictures and I don't have that, I of course went back to Facebook. Unbelievable amount of, my, of pictures of my daughter barely anything on my son. So pretty <laughs> funny. Um, my son went to, he, he got his degree, his bachelor's degree in athletic training. And then he pursued his master's. And when he got his master's, the school told him that um, if he worked for the school doing being an athletic trainer, that they would pay for his master's. I'm like, do it, do it, you gotta do it. So he did it. Um, it turned out that the, the program worked hand in hand with, um, with the physicians group, with the orthopedics group. And he was in the operating room with them. He was, you know, emergency room. He did everything. So it gave him a little taste and now he wants to become a PA. So after getting his bachelor's, after getting his master's, he then got his prerequisites um, to become a PA, which is a physician's assistant. Um, normally in that field, you cannot apply until you finish your prerequisites, which he just finished in May. His advisor said based off of all of everything that he had um, between being an EMT, his athletic training, she said, apply early. She says, worst thing that can happen is that they say no. Well, they actually said yes. And he started officially on Monday. So he's now in PA school. He got in a year earlier than he thought he would. And um, 
Yeah, maybe one day he'll get out of school. My family. Um, this is a picture of my parents. And obviously you can see us through, you know, going through the years. Um, 60 years, uh, I mean, uh, my parents will be married 60 years in October. So a little bit crazy on that end. They were both born in the Middle East, so, and then moved to France later on in life. My father in his earlier days was an OBGYN. So just here's some family pictures. It was very unfortunate. Uh, my father's 90th birthday happened in at the end of April. Everybody had plane reservations. Everyone was scheduled to go down to Miami. And obviously due to COVID-19, we couldn't go. And we had a FaceTime singing and, and had a little bit of a FaceTime party. So everybody was in different places and this was his birthday, unfortunately. Um, I have a sister. She is a nurse practitioner. Um, for the people in Miami, she actually works at Jackson Memorial. And the left picture is me, my, my sister, and my daughter. The middle one is her. And the picture on the right, I just thought it was a really cool picture due to COVID-19. Um, an artist painted this mural on the side of the hospital. So I just thought it was a great mural and um, yeah. I have a very small family. Um, this is my boyfriend, Trevor. He's been uh, the person I've been in lockdown with. Uh, he was born in London. Uh, he owns a freight forwarding business in East Meadow. And of course, as a computer consultant, I, I met him online. Um, but I, I think we did pretty good since uh, I think we did good through quarantine together. Pretty good test there. <laughs> and even though this one's kind of sad, oops, I went too fast. Um, my, my dog, unfortunately, everyone, everyone's been able to like hand this thing off and show their kids and show their dogs and everything else. Well, I don't have my kids here. My dog unfortunately passed away in December, but she still makes me happy. What? I'm so sorry. Yeah, but she was 16 years old, um, but she she did make me really happy. And uh, there she is. As part of COVID-19, um, or the pandemic things, hey, that I guess I kind of learned in the past, I guess, month. Um, I'm starting to take up golf. I'm not really good at it. According to my understanding, nobody's really good at it, but I'm really not good at it. Um, and then I've been learning the new game called um, Sequence. If you haven't tried it, you should really try it. It's fun. It's a combination of bingo, cards, but there's strategy involved. So if you're bored, there's, you know, I think it, it takes anywhere from two to 12 people. Great game, um, it's fun. Other things that I've been doing uh, that gave me a little bit of serenity. Um, I used to like to travel. I haven't traveled in a little while. Don't know if I'm going to be traveling in the future, but I do like to travel. Um, probably my Florida home has given me a lot of serenity this year. Um, we, we added lights in our patio, and I'm actually going to show you pictures in a minute. But we love just being outside. Down, down here, they call it a lanai. It's just a fancy word, but it's still a patio. Um, so we've been, you know, drinking wine on, on the patio. Well, I, I, I don't even think we've eaten dinner inside 
Um, even when it rains, we still eat outside. Just being outside, relaxing. Um, I have a little waterfall on my pool and speaking to my kids. Um, and then every single day I try just to, to walk and get some exercise. I, um, around like, a, it, it's between like two miles and four miles I go, depending on the day of how much I actually have. And I just want to show, I, I guess like two, three videos. One video was as I was learning to play golf, um, crazy as it was, there was an eagle on one hole that just like flew by us. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. It was so close. Wow. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was so neat. Yeah. It's big. Yeah, he was big. What a great video. He just flew so straight, so close. Yeah. Wow. So that was the eagle. I could show you my office. I'm not really going to because it's boring. Um, our patio is what gives me probably, I, I love just going down there. Um, lately, this past year, we added lights outside, which I'll show you what it looks like at night. Uh, we have a TV out there. We have a table out there. Um, just bought some paper furniture. So you see there's a chair, table, the couch, and the um, pool. And then it's got this little piece on the side where um, you know, it have a table. And then you could also see the golf course off to the side. It's really cool in the back of our house, we have a preserve and that preserve um, gives us a lot of privacy. We, we joke that at night, we, we call it the Jurassic concert. The, the amount of animals that's there, I have no idea, but it's, it's crazy. We, we won't go out there, but it's, uh, it's cool. Lisa, you're breaking up. That's because it is pouring down here right now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, I think it was the video. Oh, okay. I was saying that's what makes me happy. Um, it is pouring down here though right now, but usually we sit outside at the end of the day with a glass of wine um, and just, you know, being able to sit outside during this whole entire crazy time has probably given us um, the most pleasure as well as just a little piece of serenity. Thank you that's so much, Lisa. Thought. Thanks, Appreciate Lisa. It. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, guys. Nice seeing to everybody. Totally true, by the way. Getting outside really has become like the best thing for I feel like so oh many my people. God. Amazing. Who would have thought just going for a walk could be oh, so? I, uh, I do it every single day. Well, I'm not doing it today, but mm -hmm. I do it every day just to clear my head. It's it's great. So. Cool. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Thank See y'all later. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.